Florida, this would be my room for my whole life. So we don't agree with that, and I'm sure you guys do. And this right here, this is TJ, one of our tigers, and this is where we rescued him from. Oh, man. And where is TJ? And um, he's at the back. Um, we don't get to see him. Yeah, he's grumpy. He likes he likes the pool. Oh yeah, yeah, he's that yeah grumpy he does. One. Yeah, but he's um, he's kind of at the back of the property where we don't really see him. So um, one thing we like to ask our tour guests before we um, head inside, if you feel you know um, passionate about what you've heard today, you can actually help put an end to um, the suffering that you've heard about. So um, as I mentioned before, we're actually introducing a bill. It's called the Big Cat Public Safety Act, and it would um, oh. stop the private ownership of big cats in the United States. Um, so it would just stop you know, regular people from being able to keep them as pets and keep them in conditions like TJ. Um, so if you'd like to help, you can. So if you want, get your phone out right now. So you've got yours out right now. And you can text, text the word cats to the number 52886. That's right, isn't it, Melissa? Thank you. Do you want to? Do you mind handing them out? Yeah. And Melissa, if you'd like, is handing out some cards. And if you text, text okay. to that number five two eight eight six, you'll get a text back with a link. <coughs> so if you click that link, it'll ask you for your information, and you can just put in your, your information, and it will connect you to your yeah. It will connect you to your representative and you just fill in your information and if you do it here you can actually see a pin drop on our map so you can see your state and where you rang your representative and this is huge because they're fed of appearing of you know the big the people at big cat rescue but if they hear from members of the public they're going to think that this is a really important issue and it's something that they will act on um, so you guys making a phone call um, today is could potentially stop this problem in the future so we're one of the few places that actually want to put themselves out of business. Um, in our ideal world, Big Cat Rescue wouldn't have to be here. Um, but until now, we're going to be here, taking care of the cats and rescuing more when needed. Um, so before we head inside, I'd like to thank you guys so much for coming out here today. You guys coming out here pays for their breakfast tomorrow. Your tour ticket, anything you spend in the gift shop, pretty much goes straight back to the cats feeding them, building new enclosures and rescuing more. So thank you so much for coming out here today. Actually, um, the, this place, Serenity Springs, that's where most of the tigers came from. So Gabby, Seth, Sharaka, Priya um, and Andy, they were all victims of the cub petting industry. So um, that's something that we're very passionate about. Um, you, it might not seem obvious to you when you first see it, like you see a baby tiger cub and obviously you want to hold it because who wouldn't want to do that? Um, but then when you realise how harmful it is to the cats, um, if you really love animals, we really ask people not to... Um, you know, do that because it's, um, these guys are the lucky ones. My heart aches for the tigers out there that, you know, aren't as lucky to come here to Big Cat Rescue. So that's Gabby's story. And um, we'll probably see the other cats from that same rescue, but um, they've settled in really well. Sometimes it takes cats a little while to adjust here, um, but they pretty much settled in the day after. Jojo is a cross between a caracal and a circle. So they're two small wild cats, but they would never meet in the wild. So he's kind of the same thing as a liger. Have you guys heard of a liger? So a liger is a cross between a male lion and a female tiger. But again, those cats would never meet in the wild. And if they did meet in the wild, they'd be fighting. They wouldn't be trying to procreate. So again, ligers are unnatural cats. People only breed them for money. And unfortunately, they do have health issues because of that. So I'll play you guys a little bit about Jojo, and then we'll go over a second.
you'd think he's a black panther. Yeah. There's actually no such cat as a black panther. Um, if you see a big black cat like this, he's either going to be a black leopard or a black jaguar. And if you could see him up close, and if you look carefully at his tummy, you can actually see where his spots are. So he's more of a chocolatey brown colour with black rosettes on him. Um, he's the same cat as a golden leopard, and it's possible for him to be born in the same litter as a golden leopard. He just has something called melanism, which darkens the pigment in his fur. Um, so I'll play you guys his story, and I'll tell you a little bit more about him afterwards, because he's our oldest cat here, and um, he's pretty special. Um, so this is Aspen. Almost all the poodles that we have here, again, came from private ownership, which is crazy when you see how aggressive they are at feeding time and how strong they are. They're, you know, a smaller looking cat, but they're still very dangerous. Um, she's old and she has very bad arthritis, but she still comes bound.